Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Vegeta Super Saiyan 2 Rage mode or That's my Bulma mode <laughs> So it's when he kind of goes um, He freaks out when Beerus smacks Bulma so Let's go Landscape orientation bait use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So basically head tilt head tilted back uh, we can see like the bottom of his nose right so it's like the bottom portion of his face is real big okay so center point of my page is about here and I'd say that's where his nose is going to be right so just like a little bit above that we'll start with that um, Dragon Ball frown so just like this sort of W shape right and then out of that we'll do the eyebrows so and down. Right. So real expressive face, right? So the, there's a bit more of a hook on the eyebrows than what we're used to. So that comes up like that on the end. And then we bring it across. And then we'll go down. So and we could have some lines on the end there. And then same thing on this side, so you go. Again, bring it up, and we'll go across and down. Like so, and some lines on the end. So the eyes then, uh, real big, right? So line there, small line, and then a curvish sort of line here, and then a curved line connects them. For his cheek. Right. Pretty much the same on the other side. Short line, curved line. One eye is bigger than the other, just so you know. So like he's he's really going insane. So he has like one big eye, one. Like this eye is kind of bigger than this one. And he's got like these stress lines around his eye here. And Easy for us, no pupil, because he's like berserk. So he's with no pupil inside there. Sorry, no, um, where's that other image gone? Oh, there, yeah. I'm looking at like two images. Okay, I'll edit that out. Probably won't. <laughs> But anyway, um, so inside here, maybe like some lines, just some stress lines, just there, and then triangle kind of nose, right? So it kind of sticks up like so. And then it comes down into here. Right there. Yeah, so we got, we do have like some slight nostril sort of lines, like a line coming up here and here. Just suggest the nostril. And then those sort of cheek lines, right? So like coming across, coming down there. Coming out around his face. And then his mouth, so right underneath his nose, coming out from either side, curve out there, curve out there, like that, touching the bottom of his nose, comes down the side, down the side, right? So this is the big portion of his face, because his head is tilted like back away from us, his forehead is real small, but the bottom portion of his face is really big. All right, so I'm like, push down, like this. In around for the bottom lip and back up the other side. Okay. It's a real big mouth. Screaming. And then we can see teeth. We'll do the bottom teeth first. Comes down like so. Around. And there might be like bumps and stuff every now and then because you know teeth are bumpy. Like 
like so. My name is Tom. Like so. And then top teeth. So it goes across. Like so. And then we can see the back teeth. Just there. Back teeth. Here. And again, there might be some lines just to just make it look like they're molars and stuff. And then we can see the back of his throat back there. And you can color this black. So, okay, so around his mouth, then we've got like big sort of stress lines and stuff like this. Like his cheeks and stuff being pulled because he's screaming so hard. And like a bottom lip line just there as well. Like that. And then his chin. So chin just here. So proportion wise, right? I would say eyebrows to say like his throat hole is about the same as throat hole to chin. Or like top of his, just like his tongue even. Top of his tongue to his chin is about the same as tongue to eyebrows, okay? So that's about halfway between here and here. So this marks the halfway point between this and this. So that's the kind of proportion you wanna deal with, okay? But in general, up here, everything's real tight and everything down here is spread apart because his head is tilted back. So when, when things tilt away from us, they get smaller looking, right? So the distance from his nose to like his forehead is real small, but because this is tilted towards us, it's real big, okay? It's called perspective. So then we go up for the jaw for the jaw on this side. All right, and just about this level, just middle of his tongue is where you stop for the jaw and then you go up the side. And up the side on this side. And the jaw is like just under the corner of his eyebrows as well. Just down from there. And then we got like sideburns sticking out here. Can I, oh, is that side higher? Oh yeah, this side's kind of higher actually. This side lower because his head is like tilted back a little bit. So this sideburn is like here and the ear, this ear is in line with the nose, but this ear, I think it's because his head's tilted this way a little bit. So this ear is a little bit higher than this ear. Yeah, so we got like a head tilt this way as well as back. Like so, and again, here, lines, the easiest way, letter J. but you can add more detail if you want, like this kind of stuff. Like so, like so. Right, so then Vegeta's hairline. So it goes up right to a V in the middle of his head. So it's just like a V kind of like here somewhere. Like so. And then this is gonna go up and we're gonna go down towards those 
sideburns just down here. Same thing on the other side. Like so. And again, this sort of portion of his head is real small. So he has like frown lines and stuff going across here and bulging veins. So like the veins just on his head like this. And like some lines for his temples as well, like just on the side here. Okay, so that hair. So he's super saying super duh, so can't talk. Super saying two, so real spiky sort of hair, right? So two. So we're going up in like a candle flame sort of situation, right up to the top of my page. I think like the top spike goes off my page. So we'll start around. We'll do his neck because some of them go behind his neck. So just like a line. For here, for his neck, and a line there, right? For his neck, real bulging. And then we have small spikes sticking out here. Okay. So, and like that. So, right, and it's similar on the other side, so you can kind of build it up side by side if you want. Like this, and like this one, and they kind of really get bigger as we go up, then like that, so. And we're all the time aiming to make bring them in, kind of like a candle flame, you know. Like that. Let's say like. like so. So, and here, going all the while thinking about the direction we're bringing them in. They're not going out this way, they go into a point up here. And then the big one just goes up, it goes off to a spike up at the top of my page. I couldn't fit the whole lot in. But if you can, if you have room at the top of your page, bring that to like just a spike, just at the top. And then he has two just across here, like his fringe or something. So, up to there. Down. And then texture lines and hairlines all over same hair. So you just add them as you feel fit. And you see them. So just following each spike. Like so, right, so the rest of his neck, right? So we got like trapezius sticking out here and sticking out here. And then we have that armor that Vegeta wears, right? So we got like a strap 
coming along his shoulder here. This sort of strap, that golden sort of strap, right, like that. And it comes into the chest armor along the front. Okay. And then, so in here, then we have more anatomy. So we have like neck muscles. Just here. Neck muscle there. Neck muscle coming out that way. Neck muscle coming out that way. And then we have his chest. In here. So, and like another bulging sort of muscle just here. Same on this side, like so. And his collar, so his blue collar line. You could do this with just blue collar if you didn't want to do it with a black line or a pencil line. That's like, this is blue down here and this is skin color. Okay, so then the rest of that chest armor, right? So it comes down here. To there and then the opposite side similar comes down across down here how far down it goes kind of the same level like that and then it'll go up inside here it's pretty much same on both sides and then it like comes across to here, across and down, like so. Same thing on this side. Like so, up across and down. And then like a line just coming across here and strap sort of lines. Coming across like so, and then some like extra sort of armor lines here. And like maybe some, it kind of, it's kind of like flexible armor, it seems like. So like we've got some like lines just coming across his chest there. And then like another curve line coming across his abs just here. And then another detail line here for the corner. So, and I think we got like, so, and right, so shoulder then, comes off, down, into there, tricep kind of sticks off here, and kind of, there and then another shoulder line going in that way bicep line like that and then his shoulder on this side comes out into there back in and tricep just there But I think that's everything. If you want, you can give him like aura, but like some lightning and stuff coming around him. So let's see, I'll, I'll do it. I just gotta get up a reference. Yeah, so just like spiking kind of lightning lines, like, you know, this kind of stuff. tends to be real sort of cartoonish. Like this. You 
know, that kind of thing. And like some more. You could draw some on his body if you if you were happy covering certain parts, but I'll just do it off to the side here because it, it, I won't need to erase anything then. Just like spiking and hooking, kind of changing direction and then going curving in like this. just like add as much of this kind of stuff as you want there's no hard and fast rule it looks like um, do you know so let's see I'm gonna add another one here yeah. curving one There you go, that's how to draw Vegeta Super Saiyan 2 Rage. That's my Bulma. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.